Okay, so what do you need? So that's a miracle. Guns. Lots of guns. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you my first Pi 4 image that I'm releasing to the public, Pistolero. It has over 169 games scattered across through arcade, console, and other various games on here. You have Sega, Sega CD, Super Nintendo, Sega Saturn, PlayStation. You also have Auric, Sega Naomi, Mega Drive, Sega Master System, Sega Dreamcast, Thomas Wave, Atari 7800, Amstrad and 3DO. So um, before I go a little further in depth about this image, some of the things that you should know is this is the, to my knowledge, the first ever light gun only Pi image uh, that's ever been made, including out of the 3B plus or any other Pi version. Um, also, this is the first image that is out that has the double marquee script that is fully inactivated with videos. So um, as you guys know, Supreme Ultra, which this is based on, does have the Pi Marquee script. However, on this particular image, uh, this has the video scripts enabled. So you guys have seen me show it before, but no other image has actually had this or no other build has had the intro video marquee script or the main title video uh, marquee script uh, for videos activated. So uh, we got a lot of firsts here. Hope you guys enjoy it. So a few things that I've added is you will get custom load screens for each system. Uh, so each system does have a custom load screen on here. Um, we'll take a look at some of the systems that are on here. Uh, so you have all games. It's, uh, it's actually about 160, it's about 165, 169 games on here. Reason being is uh, games like the uh, area 51 and also uh, maximum force that's a double rom so you get two games on that and then of course i think there's a couple other that have the same ones as well uh, a few other easter eggs we'll take a look at a couple of the lists but um, this base build is about 30 gigabytes so um, i try to keep it as small as possible for those of you guys wondering of course yes this is supreme ultra it does have the send in light gun software already pre-installed. In fact, we'll take a look at it really quick. If you go to controller tools, you will see the light gun settings out. So for those of you guys wondering, can I use this image or build and build upon it? Um, you could try, but um, I've actually deleted a lot of stuff on here. If you would like to say this is a lighter version of Supreme Ultra, yes it is. Um, I know a lot of you have been looking for a full base, but however, that has not been released yet. So this one's a modified version. So I took a lot of stuff out of here. Uh, additional splash screens, video screens, and some other things on here as well. Additional folders that didn't need to be on here to kind of conserve space. So that's all been removed. So let's take a look at it. Um, this is using the Pistolero image. Uh, I'm sorry, theme. You do have uh, several other themes on here. Super sweet, you have super sweet 
aspect ratio 54. If you guys want to have an arcade one-up cabinet or arcade cabinet, it'll fit perfectly. You also have Supreme Space. So this is a brand new theme from Ultra. You have that. You also have Contra Cool. Let's take a look at that really quick and then I'll bounce back over. Thought I'd mix it up. And so the tone for this particular image is Pistolero, obviously, which means a Mexican uh, or a Spanish gunslinger. So I might have a lot of Spanish uh, followers on my channel. So I wanted to give them uh, a special shout out, do something in that genre. And then, of course, we have a military based theme on here. So you will see a lot of video loading screens that are military based. You will also see a lot of uh, other themes on here. Of course, you have Agent Whiskey. Uh, in fact, that was actually going to be the original name of this image was uh, Asian Whiskey um, uh, from the Kingsman. I, I usually like to theme or make an image based off of something that is currently inspiring me. But obviously, I wanted to go more or less with the Desperado with Antonio Banderas. Uh, there is some Spanish music on here, military music, uh, military backgrounds. Um, of course, you have John Wick, you have The Matrix, uh, that intro screen that you will see, uh, that is an intro video, so it's an intro splash screen, of course, that's brand new to the RetroPie community, so that is The Matrix playing in the back, and then, of course, that stops, and then when that stops, you get your main title video that will constantly play on your marquee. Now, of course, you have to activate the marquee first in order for that to work, so uh, that will play consistently. And if you guys watched my previous video, there is a way you guys can play around with it. However, I did use a 12 minute video and let it play for like 30 minutes on up and then it kind of slowed down the pie. However, uh, that particular main title screen, the uh, video marquee that you will see if you activate it, uh, I've let it play for about a couple hours straight and never had any problems with it whatsoever. So that's something you guys can experiment with on your own time. So here you have the complete light gun section here, 164 games. You have all of these. I didn't do anything with this particular theme. So um, just pretty much straightforward. You have several 3DO games. You have these right here. And then of course you have CPC, you have one game, arcade, you have 72 games. It's actually about 73, 74 arcade games because a couple of these are uh, double sets like Area 51 Maximum. And then of course we have Atari 7800, a Thomas Wave. You have Extreme Hunting, Extreme Hunting 2. You have Ranger Mission, Sega Clay Challenge, Sports Shooting. So you get all those nice games there. And then of course you have Dreamcast. Uh, one other quick thing before I go forward. So uh, from the last time that you guys saw a Pi image with Supreme Pro, uh, the one that Wolf and Nose put out, there's been a lot of changes to ROM sets. And in fact, um, I was working on another image of mine's and I had the a Thomas Wave ROM set in Naomi. And when Supreme Ultra came out because it has all the new updated cores with RetroArch, it didn't recognize my ROM set anymore. And so for those of you who already have an existing ROM set prior to, uh, I think Supreme Pro maybe, uh, you will probably, if you are trying to build off of this image, your ROM sets may not work. So just letting you guys know that. So a lot of the ROMs that I debuted when Pi 4 first came out aren't capable with this image anymore. You have to source them and start all over, so to speak. So just FYI, I thought to let you guys know that. Uh, Dreamcast, we have three ROMs here. You have Virtual Cop 2, House of the Dead, and you also have Confidential Mission. Cody, that's a music player, video player. Um, you don't need that really. Uh, Sega Master System, you got several games here. Now, the reason why some of these games are double, so you may see Rambo 3 for the Sega Master System, and then of course, you may also see Rambo in the arcade set. Uh, usually, I'm against this practice doubling up the same game, however, uh, in some instances some of the console versions are slightly different than the arcade so that's something else to keep in mind but anyway uh, i just wanted to make sure i added those for you so you guys have a perfectly good rom set and if you don't like it you can always delete it but honestly it doesn't take up any space uh, currently this image is about 52 gigabytes uh, but keep in mind 30 gigabytes uh, of the base is supreme ultra 
so in actuality there's about 22 gigabytes worth of stuff on here um, of additional video loading screens and stuff like here so a lot of it really didn't take up much space uh, Sega Master System you have two games on here as well uh, Sega Naomi this was another tricky set you get two or three light games on here House of the Dead 2 and Maze of the King so you get these light games on here you will have to set all this up I know some of you in the community were hoping that I would set up the sitting and light gun for you however I'm still playing around with that and rather than spend an additional week or two or whatever the case might be trying to get everything perfectly configured I figured I'd just go ahead and make this image put it out there and then maybe hopefully in the near future put out a very decent tutorial um, I do know that there's a lot of software programming uh, that needs to be updated for the Sydney light gun for it to be really compatible with the Pi 4 and make it more or less universal universally robust so you don't have to set up every core and every emulator every time you get ready to play um, so I did send over to some recommendations to the company that they make some recommendations uh, such as uh, they need to put an indicator on here letting you know if the gun or the software is on or off because honestly the only way you're going to know it's on is unless you just happen to remember so and every time you turn your pie off and then turn it back on you have to turn the software back on so hopefully they make that adjustment in the near future but of course if you do have aim track dolphin bar or if you just want to use your controller all of these games are perfectly fine make sure you check out all of my other tutorials i have two other tutorials with light guns that i go into detail about uh the set so um nes you have 18 games on here Orc, you have five pixels a desktop uh, also to let you guys know you cannot access the pixel desktop if you have the pi marquee script on so you do have to turn it off if you do plan on using pixel uh, playstation you have nine games so these are the nine playstation games you have here and in case you guys didn't know uh silent hill does have an easter egg so there is an easter egg you can unlock for the game that allows you to use a light gun so keep that in mind and that is why this made the list uh, options we'll go through some of the basic options if you guys have watched all of my previous videos I do have a separate playlist uh, specifically for Supreme Ultra that does uh, I think it's about what 50 videos I've made now within the past year and a half uh, detailing all my tutorials so you have your audio tools you have your controller tools and I just showed you guys this already uh, keep in mind if you do activate the test uh, player one or player two this also turns the uh, sitting in light gun script on and off if you do it activate it in addition to turning it on and off here um, also if you guys know you do need to get two different sending light guns of different colors uh, because if you get the same colors they have the same camera ID however there is a way in the software to rename it and trick it or modify it to where it makes it look like you have the even if you have the same gun with the same camera ID uh, the software recognizes the same gun so just FYI for those of you guys looking to get a sending light gun <clears throat> you have all of your emulation tools here retro pie tools you guys are familiar with all this stuff this is the same stuff that you guys have seen for the past few months visual tools you got everything here as well and here is the supreme marquee script in fact let me get out of here i'll go out bounce out to my pistol arrows there we go we also have the christmas theme on here i added the christmas theme on here just for um you guys out there who are feeling festive for christmas so i worked really hard to make sure i gave you guys something before the year ended and see we went through all these systems Sega Naomi uh, Sega Saturn we have Crypt oh uh, before I get there let's go back to options I'm sorry uh, so you have the Supreme Marquee toolkit you have your Switch Genesis you have your video smooth script so a lot of you guys have complained about the uh, video effect with uh, some of the other Pi images so there's a video script smooth script in here I believe that's new uh, to this one I'm not sure if it was released on Supreme Pro v, uh, V2 you also have a fix my build script and here is where you can switch over to a track mode um, if you guys are interested in a track mode I've only added two or three different videos uh, that would be different from the base 
uh, Supreme Ultra, so you can switch over to a track mode if you would like to and uh, check it out. And I do have a separate 35 minute video uh, for track mode if you wanna go ahead and check it out there. Uh, the other front end Pegasus, for whatever reason, sometimes it freezes. So if you guys keep having that problem, it is a cool looking emulator, but when I go to some of the consoles, just to let you guys know, uh, there are some things that uh, happen with Pegasus because it's still in the beta phase, but it is a nice front end. I do have a video on that as well. So uh, here are all the other things that if you need to access the Supreme Online Toolkit, uh, you also have that there as well. You can check out my other videos about that. Uh, Sega Saturn, you have Crypt Killer, House of the Dead. You have these here, Mighty Hits, Revolution X, Scud, Disposal, Scud, Virtual Cop, and Virtual Cop 2. So uh, in regards to Virtual Cop and Virtual Cop 2, I added these two. These still run like crap, just FYI. But the reason why I decided uh, to add these games on here, and it's a usually a best practice with some of the image makers, is if the game still doesn't run perfectly, at least you have a perfectly scraped ROM set. And in this case, uh, at least you have a perfectly scraped ROM set that will work for the Pi series. So I have my own other ROM sets for PC. I have some for uh, Pi 4 or the Pi in general. So in this particular case, uh, let's say they come out with the Pi 5 or the Pi 6 or uh, the video drivers for Vulkan are running a little bit better uh, for the Pi 4. At least you already have something you can pull from. So yeah, it doesn't take up that much space and it's always best to have it instead of not having it in this uh, particular case. Uh, next one, Sega CD, we have Corpse Killer, Crime Patrol, Mad Dog 2, Mad Dog McCree, and Who Shot Johnny Rock. So all of these games do run. I have tested all of them. Uh, Super Nintendo, you got a number of games here. And then you have Steam. And then here is my personal signature page. Uh, if you go in here to custom, this is the collection set for light guns. So all the light guns in here are uh, already working and they're already perfectly set. So uh, the signature page, just wanted to give a special shout out and recognize some of the other people in the community. So uh, that's what the signature page is there for. Uh, normally um, when I do something special, of course I usually like to toss out a few shout outs. So there you guys go. Uh, all games, so this includes all the other scripts and everything. So you should have 171 items in total. There's 28 favorites in here. Uh, I really didn't go through some of these favorites. I just tossed some stuff in here. So you guys are more than welcome to edit this out and do whatever the heck you want with it. Uh, 3DO, you got six games in here. All of these are play and are also run. Uh, one of the other things I do want to mention is yes, I did have a previous light gun image or build um, or video, I'm sorry, uh, with advanced main 1.4. However, Advanced MAME doesn't work anymore on the Pi series with Pi 4 right now. So most of the arcade games will be associated with MAME 2003, 2003 Plus, uh, MAME 2016, MAME 2010, MAME 2015. And so most of those, you can set up your controls through RetroArch. Now, uh, even though, for example, MAME 2016 is running, or you can use RetroArch, you still can access the main menu to set up a lot of these controllers. So um, I know there's some other tutorials out there, but trust me guys, uh, some of those tutorials only show you how to set up controls for particular emulators, and a lot of these other games use other emulators, so you cannot use some of those tutorials as your golden go-to, because it'll only apply for a limited number of games. And uh, that was one of the things that was concerning when uh, talking to some companies, you know, in you know, releasing uh, accessories uh, for light guns and stuff, because uh, there's been a lot of changes from the Pi 3B Plus. So like even when the Pi 4 came out, there were some changes with MAME 2016 and MAME. And then of course, even now with RetroArch and different ROM sets and every, all the requirements, uh, you will have to use different ROMs in different settings to get everything to work perfectly. So uh, that's pretty much it there. Uh, Atari 7800, you got three games. And of course, I've already covered a Thomas Wave. So um, again, the perfect theme for this was military um, uh, Spanish gunslinger for Pistolero. There is a lot of Spanish music in here. 
military music all the video loading screens have been customized as well and there's approximately 14 different splash screens and if you look at this also this is the first pie image that's ever had a rating system so if you look at the uh, icon or the thumbnail for this video you will see a restricted so there's a lot of stuff in here i do not recommend for kids you know for little kids however if you guys choose to you can enjoy them if you want you can always delete those splash screens or change them depending upon your preference but i hope you guys really enjoy this uh, a lot of time and effort has gone into this image if you have any questions please try to reference some of my videos because i've covered a lot of stuff over the whole series uh, over the course of the year in regards to the pi 4 and the progress that is also made as well but um, yeah you guys are going to get the perfect pi marquee script on here from the supreme team uh, the other previous versions you've seen on other builds are either broken or obsolete so that works uh, the other thing is what else is there there's something else that's on here uh, well anyway i hope you guys enjoy it leave a comment below let me know if you have any questions and i'm proud to finally release my image or one of them anyway and i hope to see you guys soon let me know what you guys think and i really hope you guys appreciate it uh, shout out to all the boys out there you guys know who you are and um, i will catch you guys later but till then this is keel dyken signing out i'll catch you guys next time enjoy pistol little peace nah, I have a machine gun.